Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk more about LCM and HCF. What is the LCM of prime numbers? Well, the LCM of prime numbers is, is the product of numbers itself. To prove this, let's take a set of prime numbers and find out their LCM. So let's take LCM of 5 and 11. If we take out the LCM of these numbers by prime factorization method, we have to first find out the factors of 5 and 11. Well, factor of a prime number is the number itself. So the prime factor of 5 is 5 and the prime factor of 11 is 11. And LCM is the product of prime factors with highest powers. So here the prime factors are 5 and 11. So we have 5 and 11 which is equal to 55. Thus, we can easily say that if we have to calculate the LCM of prime numbers, it is the product of those numbers themselves. Or if we have to calculate the product of co-prime numbers, then again it is the product of those numbers. To prove this again, let's take a set of co-prime numbers. Let's take the LCM of 6 and 7, which are co-prime numbers. So the prime factors of 6 are 2 and 3, and prime factors of 7, which is a prime number, is 7. And LCM here would be equal to the product of prime factors that is 2 into 3 into 7 with highest powers. So here the highest powers are 1. Now if you if you simplify this we get 6 into 7 and these are the numbers themselves. So we can now easily say that if you have to find out the LCM of a set of numbers and you see that these numbers are prime or co-prime numbers you don't have to calculate the factors. Just multiply or find out the product of all those numbers. Okay, what could be the HCF or the highest common factor of prime numbers? Well, the HCF of prime numbers is actually 1. And the reason being that if you take a set of prime numbers or a set of co-prime numbers, the common factor is 1. Take any set of prime numbers and the common factor amongst those is only 1 and if the only factor that is common to those numbers is 1 that would also be the highest common factor that's why the highest common factor of prime numbers or co-prime numbers is 1 let's go ahead the product of two numbers is equal to the product of their highest common factor and LCM this is an important property this is an important relation between highest common factor and the least common multiple. So if you have two numbers A and B and if you multiply them then this product is equal to the product of the highest common factor of A and B and the least common multiple of A and B. So if you have the numbers as 10 and 15 and the HCF of 10 and 15 is 5 and the LCM is 30, you will find out that these two expressions are equal. 10 into 15 is 150 and 30 into 5 is 150. So remember that the product of two numbers is equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. Okay, based on this property, let's solve this question. The ratio of two numbers is 4 is to 5. The ratio given is 4 is to 5 and their highest common factor is 6. What is the LCM of these numbers? Okay, the ratio of the numbers is given. So we can write a by b is equal to 4 by 5. Now, we can also write this as if we multiply both the denominators and both the numerator and denominator by x, we can write it as 4x by 5x. Therefore, a is 4x and b is 5x. By looking at this, you can easily determine that the common factor between 4x and 5x is x. And by the way, it is the only common factor between 4x and 5x. So if it is the only common factor, it is bound to be the highest common factor. Therefore, we can definitely say that HCF is equal to x. But we have been given the highest common factor. 
which is 6. So HCF is equal to x, which is equal to 6. Now, we know this formula, we know this property, product of two numbers is equal to product of their HCF and LCM. So product of these two numbers, 4x into 5x equals to HCF and LCM. Now HCF is x. Now we can write 4x into 5x equals to x into LCM. This x gets cancelled out. One of the x gets cancelled out. So we have 4 into x. The value of x is 6. So 4 into 6 into 5 is equal to LCM. So this turns out to be 120. Therefore the answer is 120. Okay, now let's move on to our next topic. How do you find the LCM and HCF of fractions? That is, if you have fractional numbers like A by B, C by D, and E by F. If these are your numbers, how do you find the LCM and HCF of these three numbers? Well, we have a formula for this. HCF of fractions is equal to the HCF of numerator divided by the LCM of denominators. And if you have to calculate the LCM of fractional numbers, you can do it by this formula. LCM of fractional numbers is equal to the LCM of numerators divided by the HCF of denominators. So if you have to calculate the HCF, you take the HCF of numerators and the LCM of denominators. Or if you have to calculate the LCM of fractional numbers, you take the LCM of numerators and divide it by the HCF of denominators. With this, let's solve this question. What is the HCF of these three numbers? Well, we have our formula right there. HCF of any fractional number is equal to the HCF of numerator upon the LCM of denominator. Now let's find out the HCF of numerators. So HCF of 2, 5 and 10. So first we will need to find out the HCF of 2 and 5. Of 2 and 5 is equal to, well 2 and 5 are co-prime numbers. So their HCF is 1. Now we will have to find out the HCF of 1 and 10. This one has come here. So again, HCF of 1 and 10, which are both co-prime numbers, is 1, basically. Okay, so we have the HCF of numerators as 1. Now we have to find out the LCM of denominators. So LCM of denominators, that is 3, 9, and 18. How do we find this? Let's find this using the division by primes method. So we can write 3, 9 and 18 here and let's start dividing it by the lowest prime number that is 2. It, 2 can divide one of these terms so 2 cannot divide 3, 2 cannot divide 9 but 2 can divide 18 so 2 9s are 18. Now we cannot divide all these three terms by 2 so we have to divide it by 3. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9. Again we can divide this by 3 so once one comes down, 3 ones are 3, 3 ones are 3. Therefore, we have the LCM as 2 into 3 into 3, which is 18. Therefore, our answer is HCF of numerator is 1, LCM of denominator is 18. So our answer is 1 by 18, which is option D.